For a while now, I've heard the horror stories of getting yourself a seeding slug as a mount. Today, while mostly messing around, I found a method that netted me this bad slug in about 20 minutes of effort. So what are the horror stories and how did I avoid them so easily and unintentionally? Well, let's get right into it. Hey there, Rotan here. I make to-the-point videos about World of Warcraft, helping people obtain collectibles, cosmetics, and mounts that they want easily and quickly. If that sounds like a fun time, subscribe. Alright, so here's how you get the seeding slug. There are seeding orbs placed around this area of Zeralek Cavern known as the Zakali Caldera. The orbs are these red dots on my map here. After collecting three of them, a lootable orb spawns at this location in the north and gets you the mount. Easy, right? So what are all these horror stories that I spoke of earlier? Well, there's a catch. The orbs themselves only spawn one at a time, and there's a long spawn timer between each orb. At least an hour, but maybe more. So you'll spend a lot of time going to their apparent locations to find, well, nothing at all. To add insult to injury, only one player can open the end reward chest at a time. This means that if somebody else gets to the chest first, you're starting over. Collecting a seeding orb gives you a debuff called Insidious Insight, which you need to stack three times. This is your progress tracker, essentially. If you leave the area or hearth, it'll get removed. So what did I do that was so different and so easy? In short, I shard hopped. Yep, that's the trick. That's the ultimate secret here. <laughs> Thanks for watching. No, but let's let's get specific. I queued up for the big weekly quests here that are right in the Zakali Caldera, like taking down the elders or collecting eight corehound hides. There are plenty of people that are creating groups and looking for people to help out right now. So fly around to all of your orb locations, and if you find one, great, grab it. If not, then join one of these groups, and instead of helping them out, sorry everyone, fly around the area again and look for an orb. Keep this up in a loop until you get all three. When you collect your third and final orb, you'll get a message popping up saying, You hear a dark hiss from the Northern Shrine. This is your cue to get yourself over to that Northern Shrine on the map, which is at the location I showed before, and loot that orb for your slug. So, with some simple shard or lair hopping and minimal effort, we have secured a mount that has taken people a lot of time camping and waiting around. That turns this adventure from one of the most frustrating to one of the easiest and one of the coolest new mounts that we can achieve in under an hour. As with all of these slug mounts, they're squishy, the textures are great, and the animations are smooth. So, I dig it. Glad that we could bag the seeding slug. That's all for this one. Thanks for watching, everybody. I'll see you next time, and take care.